La 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 la. Look at me. I'm just running around in front of my mouth. Wait a minute. YouTube. No. I'm going to be all over YouTube. Well, well. At least I'm on YouTube with Mystery Gamers. Yeah. We like that channel. Peace out. Yeah, 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 what's up, YouTube? This is Wicked Gamer HD coming at you with a tutorial. This is Minecraft in real life. This is going to be a tutorial showing you how you can get Minecraft characters, anything from Minecraft, creepers, TNT, the lot in real life. You could have a creeper chasing your sister down the street. You could have your Minecraft character running away from a dog. But this is going to be a, a tutorial video. I'm not too sure whether it's going to be one or two parts yet, but it's going to show you how to uh, get Minecraft characters into real life. So let's start with part one, how to uh, capture your Minecraft character. So here we are guys, on my Minecraft server. This is just the normal standard uh, book server server running uh, on my home pc so no need for server cost or anything i can do anything i like on it i've got it in creative mode at the moment but as you can see in front of us we've got a giant green room this is a uh, actually glowstone uh, i'll provide a link to the texture pack so somewhere for you to get but uh, this is glowstone so we've made a giant room out of Glowstone, but it's green. We've got our little signs there. Green room. Video recording suite. So we'll go into our green room, and as you can see, it is just pure green. You don't need to put any lights in there, because it is uh, glowstone, so it'll automatically light the room up. Right, so the next step we want to do is we want to press F5 twice, which will bring your character to that, and you can do 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 do. Still getting used to controllers, you can go back and forward, but left makes you run right, and right makes you run left, which is weird. So then what we do is we position our character where we would like him, and we do a little move, do a little jump, yeah, create a move so I can suck on the wall, and then bring him back to the camera, hello, hello, I'm a Minecraft character, looks like say hello, hello. And then we just run backwards and forwards. To record this, I'm using fraps. But uh, there's this part of recording done for now. So we will switch over to Adobe After Effects CS5. And we will show you what to do next. Welcome back, guys. This is part two, how to edit your footage so as you can see i've created a minecraft video section on my desktop and inside that i've got some standard video i've managed to go all over just some normal footage uh which is the background footage of the opening of this video and we've got our minecraft footage so next we are going to start adobe after effects and wait for it to load because Adobe products now seem to slow load really slowly. So I am going to make a smoke so I don't drop my tobacco while I wait for it to open because I will get a couple of errors because I've got some duplicate plugins. So an older version of the CT plugin and a new version. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, we get the picture, we get the picture. Come on, just go, 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 go. Thank you. La la la. La 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 la. There we go. Right, so we've opened Adobe After Effects. Now this is just a... Bear in mind, this is just a quick tutorial. Because uh, I'm not particularly good at ed editing stuff uh, that well with Blender, Adobe, stuff like that. I'm still learning the process through, but this is just a quick idea of how you can get 
great uh, Minecraft uh, gear, items, people into real footage so you could add maybe explosions like put some TNT around your house and blow it all up and go look mum ha ha I blew your house up but uh, <laughs> that kind of thing but let's go on with it so we're going to click new competition and you can set your what resolution etc etc you want there and we're going to click OK and then you've got your comp and the first thing we're going to do is going to go back to the folder we created with our footage in and we're going to drag the minecraft one in whoops wrong timeline right there's your minecraft one so we're going to drag it down to the bottom and what we're going to try and do is going to skip forward to the clip we are going to find a nice little position of just our character here we go and we're going to go edit and we're going to go split right so now we split it there and we can get rid of the first one because we don't need the first one so we drag oops drag that a bit too far there we go so now we're going to drag that to the beginning of the timeline there we go Whoa, that's a bit scary. Play the footage. As you can see, we've got our Minecraft character there. That's not all we want, so we shall delete that part. And we shall put our footage in again and try re-editing it. Uh, right, we'll play it properly this time instead of fast forwarding because I might have fast forwarded a bit too far. Because I did only record so much of it, so let's try and find a spot where we can. So go in, go as slow as we can. And we'll play it from about there. And there's our guy there. Hello, Mr. Guy. Yeah, we'll, we'll do it from about there, I think. So we'll split the layer. Delete the piece we don't need. And we'll move. We'll extend that piece to about there. So we've extended that piece. No, we haven't. Let's extend that right. Uh, extend it about. Right, there we go. Split it there. So you get the idea of where you've got a split. There's no point having all the other Minecraft stuff in the background or it will interfere with it. But drag this back to the beginning of the timeline and there's our little Minecraft character running around, running backwards and forwards. But uh, what we're going to do is create your track clip load there. So you want a plugin called Keying Key Light. Sorry, key light 1.2. I'm sure if you can't afford to pay the $600 they're asking for, you can find a download for it, which I have found. But there is you. You've got your clip clip selected, so you go to effect, key in, key light 1.2, and it opens this on the left hand side. And what we want is where it says screen color. We want the little dropper. We can remove the background. And there's your little character just there doing nothing. Half his hand is missing because I didn't realise I had hold of a block. So just make sure you're not holding something that's the same colour. But then we can move our characters around. Move it to on the screen where we want. And stuff like that. We, we, we'll have them up there, I think. Now, let's see if we can get rid of this part. We don't need this part. Well, that didn't, that didn't quite work. We've lost our person. So, 
what you gotta do is if you make the same mistake I did, just undo them parts. You wanna select this little pen icon next to the T, go around your, your character. somehow like that and then that'll get rid of the toolbar at the bottom and we can go back to the arrow over here so it's just an old person like that yeah I'm a person dancing around and then we'll just drop that there then we go back to our folder where we add our other footage which is here and we drag that into the comp as well like that but we can close this panel right so you've got your two footage there you drag the other one your second footage that you want as your background footage uh, must be below your minecraft footage so we've got that like that <coughs> excuse me uh, so then we've got that like that and then because I'm selected on the background image I can move that to L1 but what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click transform and fit to comp so it fits that square perfect I'm going to click on the minecraft character again so I've got masked out here and I'm going to put them where I would like them you can have them here here you have them just ahead you have them stood on the track you can have them stood in the background you can even resize the character if you would like like that squish him make him really really small stand out in the background purpose of this video because it's just an example and a quick video but you can place them wherever you want and then use other after effects uh, effects and plugins to animate them key by key frame so that but we're just gonna plonk in there and then we can preview and as you can see he's moving along with the picture just like he did in a uh, the beginning of this video but uh, once you're happy with how you've got your character you just go on to comp go to composite composition go to add to render create queue and then down here where it says output module you can select what you want to render it as I've got a custom I also get custom one because I've got quick time and so I'll do it to quick time because I tend to find that it uh, seems to render faster but you just pull on what you want click OK select click on that uh, that way it says output to select where you would like to uh, render it to so I'm going to just render it to Minecraft videos I'm going to call it a uh, test video one and then I'm going to click save and then I'm going to click render and as you can see it's starting to render now this can take anything from 10 minutes to 2 hours to 4 hours depending on your system specifications but uh, that's how you do a quick uh, quick minecraft character on some real footage if you have any questions uh feel please feel free to message me and i will try my best to help you out and answer them hey get out of screen while i'm talking but uh thank you for watching and i hope this tutorial is useful for you have a nice day